The Sea of Shadows is fractured. After the Bevent's victory, the kingdom has fallen into infighting. Montano, nothing more than a lowly count now. A wise kindred, though, will make use of strife. More territory is there for the taking. And of course, Rome still beckons. A beacon of power, both in the mortal world and in kindred knights. If Melissa Bevent could strike out at Latium, proclaiming the ancient city of Rome for her own, then she may yet have the power to strike at the baronies of Avalon. Right now, the ancient kindred Mithras is unaware of Melissa's plots and plans. She would be nothing more than a feisty caitiff, creating trouble in the Mediterranean. But little does he know of the Bevent's desire for their home. Their goal is still out there, in the heart of his territory. No small task, but the same can be said for all that the Bevents have conquered so far. For now, they will strike out at the sea once again. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, Princes of Darkness, where we are going to be taking advantage of the war that is currently raging on in the Sea of Shadows at the moment. So, if we have a look here, we can see that Lord Claudius Eugenio, the King of Rome, is the current ruler of all of this. He is of the kind of Montano line. He is a child of Montano that has managed to overthrow his sire. No small task, of course, and he's already fighting. He's defending against a holy war for the county of Benvenuto, which interestingly enough, we have a claim on. Uh, it looks like he's getting attacked from here, from part of Latium. So it's not a full scale war between the two different areas yet, but it could very well become that. So we're going to take advantage of this strife here to declare our own war because we don't have a truce with Claudius here. We only have a truce with Montano and Montano, he's just hanging out down here in Bari. So let's go to war and see exactly what we want to try and claim. So of course, Benvenuto is one that we actually do hold a claim for. And if we're fast, we might be able to win that war in time. There's also the county of Messina, which might be more beneficial to us. We would control the crossing then, and then Inna would be by itself here. We may even be able to try and woo the vassals that are there to join us instead. Their strength is inferior. Our allies no doubt will join us, especially with the amount of prestige that we have. So we're going to go and start to... Well, actually, hang on. Do we want to call them yet? We don't necessarily need to, do we? Could we actually call upon the Duchess, La Sombra's guardian? No, unfortunately we can't because he is considered to be a liege. I think we're just going to go in with Missy's own entourage. Well, I say entourage, her own personal army. If we need allies, then we will call upon them. But Messina here is the war goal, so we are going to capture that first and foremost, and we should be able to do that pretty quickly with our various siege engines. They're fighting their fight up there, and oh dear, we just lost Gerard. Now, I'm not quite sure what he was doing for us in our herd, but it's going to be worth us having a look at our herd overall and decide who we want to try and herdify. Not necessarily you. If we attempt to manipulate our herd, we can see that we have acute sanguine resonance from two different sources and one fleeting choleric resonance. So I think we're going to have to do a little bit of hunting while we are doing everything else here. And with the amount of prestige we've got, we're going to keep on trying to call upon some warriors. I've got to hope that we're going to get someone that's more choleric. The siege is nearly won. Excellent. Okay, 24 gold from occupying Messina. So from here, the capital is actually all the way up here. We'll have to try and work our way towards them. We could also look at going straight into combat. I'm not against that. We can get a hefty war score if we try to go for that. We do need to be wary that we could get into a fight with the opposing force over here from Latium, so we'll just try to navigate around them where we can. It looks like we've kind of sent them running for the time being. That works for me. And as for our herdification, I think we're going to try and drink the blood of Blanca. Let's go for a hunt and see, see what we're going to get here. 
negligible melancholic resonance. All right, just a sip for now. And let's continue hunting for warriors. It looks like we're just gonna be able to catch them. Oh, maybe not. No, they are away for now. So we're gonna have to chase them a little longer here. <laughs> it looks like we're finally gonna catch up to them in the mountains here. The attack does seem to be going in our favor. We'll see if we can make some captures. Unfortunately, not from this fight, but it does give us a considerable amount of war score. So let's continue on and gain some territory. Crossing over the border here, it should be a relatively quick siege for us. We'll just keep an eye and see what they are up to. And ah, fresh meat. Diligent, brave, ambitious, really good traits. But we also have a giant here. Gregarious, arrogant, lustful. The lust makes me think it's going to be more sanguine blood. We also have someone who's vengeful, gregarious, and greedy. Choleric is all about fire and energy and, I mean, vengeance, gregariousness. That could fit under that. It's a hard bunch to decide between. You know what, Folket? We are going to give you a shot. Ah! A fleeting choleric resonance. I think we're just gonna go for it. We can get others, I think, still. So, yeah, I would like to, here we are. We can make him addicted to the bliss of my kiss so that he will beg for me to feed upon him. So that does mean, I believe, that he will immediately be in our herd. Yeah, okay. So just like that, he's there and excellent. We can unlock a new ability under choleric. So, Soaring Leap gives us extra advantage. I think we're going to stick with Potence for now, but Celerity is also fantastic. If we can just get more Choleric Blood coming in, then we'll try and split a little bit between the trees, but for now, I think Potence is where we want to be. Memories of Sunlight. Intriguing. It's surprising what a person misses after their embrace. You find yourself missing sunlight. You try to remember the way the world looks on a sunny day, with bright blue skies and puffy clouds. Are these small joys truly out of your reach forever? I should hire a painter. One peak won't hurt. Or get a hold of yourself, your kindred, act like it. That's more stress. Um, mm, wounded. A 1% chance you die, that you burn in the sun. Well, we don't really need to lose stress right now, and I don't want to lose gold. I'm okay with us getting a little bit of stress here. Get a hold of yourself, Missy. Yes, act like the monster that you are. And oh, our hook on Pex has expired. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Now, let's make our move once again on the army that's up here, and it looks like it should be over pretty quickly for us. Oh yeah, there we go. And we actually managed to capture, ooh, a count, I see. Now, unfortunately, counts, well, there's not much that we can do other than ransom them back. Although, what is your generation? I don't see it. Perhaps we can't see it. Oh, no, you're a revenant. You're pure-blooded as well. You've got blood sorcery. 101 years old, a revenant. So you're a child of ghouls. That blood sorcery, that is tempting. Do we keep you in prison? I mean, yes, ideally we do. You do have a lot of different, like, negative things kind of going on here, stress-wise. You know, I think we're just gonna keep you imprisoned for the moment. Sadistic, lustful, deceitful. Seems like a good candidate for us. I am looking effectively for others that we may be able to add to the herd. We don't have enough space right now, but if we find a cute blood, that would be fun. Mabila, let's see, fleeting. Fleeting Sanguine. Okay, well, we'll take a sip. I think we will probably stop hunting for the moment, but uh, we'll leave you be there and okay. Just like that, we have enough war score. Let us enforce our demands, and just like that, we are victorious. Let's disband these troops here and look at our new territory. It is looking fantastic. Oh yes, and I do need to have a look at the name of our territory here, don't I? Yes. The Baronies of Bevent, that fits a little bit more. And we've got an equally uh, spooky looking emblem for Melissa now. Ah, with that, Count Bionadu is now considered a powerful vassal. This is our vassal down here in Syracuse. Now, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to get you on the council, not with these skills. They're kind of abysmal, really. So what are we to do with you to try and improve 
the relationship that we have. We could try to entrance them. An 80% chance of success. Let's start that scheme. Now, interestingly enough, Benvenito, uh, not Benvenito, but Fogia over here, which is entitled as Benvenito, is a separate piece of land with only 36 levies, eight champions, mind you, and this is a fifth generation kindred, a Malkavian no less. Now unfortunately, we can't declare any wars down here, and oh, oh I see, this is uh, <laughs> just not a good idea, because you're allied with Latium it seems. I see, well then, let us not uh, tango with you then. But the tangoing that we do want to attempt to do eventually down here in Rome is declaring a holy war for a duchy. Now we could go for the duchy up here or Latium. I think we would rather go for Latium, but looking at those numbers, Rome, <laughs> Rome has a lot of power. And so we are going to need to try and secure some of that power for ourselves. And one of the ways in which we can do that is with a new alliance. We're not creating any new child, at least not yet, but Pack member Verpus may have outlasted his uh, usefulness. Now there are a number of different ways in which we could try to um, work things out here. And hmm, we haven't really played around with the activities being for a different purpose. If we could guarantee that Verpus would join us on a hunt, well then, we might have some options. Let's first of all see what the locations are looking like around here. It looks like everywhere's pretty much the same with like a one bonus after everything else. So I think we would try here. And as for the intent, let's see, murder. And a murder target, of course. Ah, well, that is unfortunate. It doesn't seem like we'll have access to him here. Count Akos is <laughs> at the top. Yes, unfortunately, that that will not work. Oh, yes, and we will need to consider what we actually want to have happen with Messina here. I am tempted to give our vassal here some more power, but then again, it'll also make him even more demanding when it comes to wanting to be on the council. Yes, I mean, giving him more power doesn't sound like the greatest plan, but if we can try to win him over, especially if our powers work on him, I think that could, I think it could still work out. And hey, that has helped a little bit here. Ah, wonderful. We do actually have an opportunity to host an Elysium. We don't have a lot of gold though, so perhaps we'll let a little bit more build up first. Oh, okay. And we have an unpressed claim. Let's see, right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's rather handy, isn't it? Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to go to war for a little bit, but we will be able to <laughs> claim even more territory here in the Sea of Shadows. Gosh, he has been absolutely shattered. Ooh, interesting. We have a person of interest here. Let's see. Uh, okay, 14 learning. Pex is higher. I don't think that we are going to risk it here. We're better off without another competitor. We could take you on as a ghoul potentially, but we'll see where you wind up and oh, Bianadu, we'll check on that as well. Ah, Minale. Well then, I hope you enjoy your unlife as a Bruja. Huh? Okay, Bianadu, let us see. We are reaching out with mystical energy to touch the mind of Count Bianadu. He is resisting the entrancement. So we can rouse the blood and we have a higher chance of success. Exert my will um, a, a little bit higher. So this is a diplomacy challenge at the moment. We could attempt to improve our diplomacy beforehand here, which I think is probably going to be a worth wild idea. So let's see. Diplomacy. More charming. Young. Blood Surge 2. That does give us a plus 2 to our diplomacy. Let's go ahead and surge. We didn't get hungrier. That's good. I'll take that. And now a 60% chance if we exert our will. But, you know, hunger will increase. Let's roll the dice and see how we go. Entranced. Excellent. Of course he loves me. All will love me. Okay, so a little bit better. It took a lot to get there. <laughs> so perhaps we'll even just start to try and sway you as well. 
Yes, Entranced is giving us plus 50. That is certainly helping, but the minus 150 from wanting a seat on the council, that is tough, very tough. But with 170 now in the bank, I think we are going to begin this Elysium. It's a chance for us to lose stress right away, which is fantastic. And hmm, refreshments. A little bit of extra stress for prestige. Let's go out and get some blood. A friendly duel. Two of your champions fancy a friendly duel between themselves to entertain the court. Obviously, each one of them wants your favor before the duel. You can be sure that the one you don't choose will be resentful. These are vampiric politics after all. Okay, so we've got Gersender here, and then we have Basarab. I feel like Basarab is going to take this here. He's not kindred, but he is a, he's a revenant. So, Basarab, I think you've got this in the bag. Yeah, good luck. And it is a slow night. An average Elysium, we have to admit. Some plots, but not too many. Some veiled threats, but nothing too dangerous. It's nice to have something resembling a breathing room once in a while. You could go even further and call it a night. Just enjoy the calm. Elysium is done, leave me alone. No, let's just enjoy the little bit of calm. But we have work to do. A reading in the barony of Malta. A tedious feast has become even worse as Nicholas suggests a reading from Tratulia. Thankfully, Javaeus soon suggests reading a riddle poem instead. I see someone may be trying to win us over here. And the meeting. It's time to begin. Let us hope that our counselors are on good form and it seems like we're off to a good start. Dario has proposed a grand tour again Wonderful. We gain Diligent Chamberlain, giving us plus 10 to all of our direct vassals for 10 years. A good plan from our Keeper as well. Wonderful. The Holding of Malta gets bloody investments for 5 years. We lose 50 gold, but if we're looking at constructing things there, that could help a lot. So I think we will. Good work. And our Sheriff has a good plan as well comes forward with a plan to increase our overall control of one of our provinces. This would allow us to pull more influence from it, but could also alert some unwanted attention. So, the county of Rosano gains controlled populace, but there is a 4% chance of the masquerade increasing. It's very slim. It's fine. We got away with it. And Pix? That's okay. Laying back for a year. I will rest when I'm done. Mm. Minus five diplomacy, minus five stewardship. It, it, it's kind of a good plan, but no, sorry, sorry, Pex. Look, he already thinks pretty highly of us. It's going to be okay. And, oh, well, looks like we're going to be able to take the horse out uh, halfway for Elysium. <laughs> And then finally, our Scourge has a good plan. There are no chances of a Masquerade Breach, or rather, oh, we can go to zero completely hidden. I like the sound of that. Yeah, 50 prestige, definitely worth it. All in all, a very, very good Elysium for us. Now, having a look at Malta, let's see if we do want to try and construct something new or upgrade things. I mean, that's, oh boy, that's a lot. And that's, that's half the price that it would be otherwise wild. So yes, perhaps we look at constructing something else. As ever, gold is hard to come by, but we could attempt to get a little bit more holding taxes from here. If we can save up enough, we'll see how that goes. Regardless, having those construction benefits are good to just keep in case something else pops up that we can construct. I think it might be time to invite some more champions to our lands. It's always good to have more knights, as we've got many, many slots for them. And some of them may be good candidates for the embrace. I am wanting to secure some more alliances after all. Barad? Not bad. 13 prowess, that's a, a start. I think Gallant does help there. You are trusting and calm, a little arrogant. That's okay, we're certainly going to keep our eye on you. We'll just wait until all the champions have arrived. Oh, and look who is back! From bad to worse, as if it was not enough that he embraces the worst vices of humanity, Count Montano has now insulted me to my face. He sent a messenger who bowed his time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to address me as the loathsome Duchess Melissa, as if by accident. And then he acted as if it had all been a mistake. This cannot stand. I will make sure that he pays for his insolence. That's going to put us into critical stress, but that's okay. We can, we can work on that, can't we? 
can't work off stress, unfortunately, not yet, but we will once we get the opportunity to. All is fair. An opportunity for us to learn something new, it would seem. We have an intrigue challenge here, tricking our enemies into overextending. Only cowards run. It's a way for us to get some stress down there. We could get practiced hit and run tactics. I don't want us to be foolish. I don't think Melissa would want that either. I think we'll just take the opportunity to lose stress once again. Oh dear, and our mare is sick. So, no price is too steep. We can afford that. You will be worth it. A sensual proposal. Nicholas, what are you doing? Hmm. Yeah, sorry buddy. A quick silver blade, you are an incredible swordsman. Although unfortunately that doesn't really <laughs> affect your prowess all that much there. Um, how sweet, but no, thank you. Sway the good count. Right, let's see how we go here. My lady, pray tell, who is the most venerable person you have heard of? Ah, uh, Count Bionadu. Without a doubt, we spend some prestige, but we gain some progress there on swaying him. That's good. We have yet another champion to look at and another sanguine perk as well. Okay, athletic. Prowess of 15. Ambitious though? Hmm. Okay, guitars. We'll keep you in mind. Still waiting for that last champion to show up. But before that, summon. The vampire can call to themselves any person mortal or vampire, whom they have previously used or entrancement or majesty, or who has tasted their blood at least once. Very interesting. A very powerful power, and one that may allow us to kind of lure in our uh, husband here. We would have to try to entrance him first though, and that would get rid of our sway down here. You know what? It's more important. We will try to entrance Verpus. And yes, I know, it's terrible. Verpus has been incredibly loyal to us, <laughs> but alliances, they do sometimes outlive their usefulness, and there is no easy way for us to separate and break this alliance. There is but one option. A scheme at court. Interesting. Our scourge here, the Scarlet Witch, comes to us with grave news. While we do not know, someone is trying to steal from her. Interesting. They don't know who they are dealing with, my lady. They think that they can kill me. I will show them. Oh yes, I will. I am sure you'll be able to. You have an artifact? Interesting. What artifact do you hold? Hmm. Oh, I don't think there's any easy way for us to figure that out. But, oh, it actually has an okay chance of succeeding. Keep an eye on that then. Don't want you to be caught out. Oh, and yet another uh, B person here. Um, athletic. Okay, but Craven, yeah, it's not great. So, looking at our options here, Barad does seem like he could be an okay choice here. There is nothing special about his abilities though, but we also know that some of the folks that have been embraced by our childer so far are really not special, even in the slightest. If we turn you into a ghoul, you can help us as a warrior, but not much more than that. We need an alliance, and for that we do need another childer. So, we shall attempt to embrace. Let us begin, Melissa. Oh, and would you look at that? We can create the Kingdom of Sicily. Well then, that's fantastic. We will need a lot of gold to be able to do it, but my gosh. That would be brilliant. Lines about legacy. The latest work of my child, Count Gilam, has become all the rage as of late. The piece deals with memory and what we leave behind, and Gilam has publicly dedicated it to me. A lament for the Duchess. The mightiest woman must leave this earth. Their deeds, their acts, their swollen worth. And hope only for memory's grace, that their history finds true place. So far, I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown. Um, well, I feel like we could feel good about that. Sure, the poem is lauded. Thank you, Gilam. Oh, and I should note that Bernardo is now plus 64 with us, so we're looking pretty good in that department. Excellent, and we can work off some stress. So we shall. Another lap. Oh, I don't quite know when we picked this up, but we do have a new trinket here. This sanctified stained glass shard. It gives us some dread gain. I'm not against it. We've already got an okay amount of piety. Perhaps we just say goodbye to the hairfoot for now? 
Yes. Goodbye for now. Hello to Stained Glass Shard. Well, it's time for entrancement. And the chances are, well, it's tough. We're definitely going to need to arouse the blood here. Oh, oh, right. That's a year away before we can blood surge again. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, so, the best we can get here is a 47% chance that we can exert our will. We have to try, right? Resist it. Unfortunate. But it hasn't affected us, as I don't believe he's fully aware that we're tempted to entrance him. We can always approach this from a different angle, mesmerizing perhaps, and look at that, we found the schema. It is caught Mentor Olania. Oh, of course it's a Tremere. And it's also someone of her house, I see. She's something of a mystic, it would seem. Right, well, let's hope that's the end of that. And an 84% chance of success here, that's better. Let's attempt to get towards mesmerization. Ah. Here we go, the embrace. We're gonna be spending a fair bit of piety here, but Barad will now be our childer. 26 prowess, very nice, very, very nice. We can see that arrogant, we're fine with that. Uh, excellence. Well then, Barad Bevent, it's got a good ring to it, doesn't it? Say hello to your siblings. Oh, and you know what? We should probably recruit you to the court, eh? Yeah, I think he's just going to be <laughs> willing to join. Totally fine. He's unlanded for the moment, and that's also okay. That's a heck of an outfit there. Wow. <laughs> Let's see, you got fortitude, dominate, and potence out of that deal there. Good. Now, let's see. Arranging a marriage. Or rather, finding a spouse. That's what we want to try and do here. Let us go for alliance power. So, hmm, we can see that our influence is stretching out further still. So, oh, that's okay. That is Verpus's child. I, I see. I thought you looked familiar. Well then. And then there's also her sister. I see. Greek gangrel. Hmm. Yeah, our options here. There aren't that many, and I suppose you are a little bit further down the line of succession, and so, yes, I can see that not being as useful. You know, for the moment, I think we're probably just going to try and keep you single. You are still going to be an incredibly useful knight, and let's also make sure that we are keeping track of you up here, Barad. Of course, yes, the education. We will be... Let's give him some liberties. Why not? Oh dear. Spiteful axe. Duke Gunnar Jacobson's cold heartedness has always bothered me, but recently it's been getting on my nerves more than ever. I want to get back at him for this behavior, but what form should my reprisal take? Spread rumors that will plague him for years, write a, write a witty poem, or call him out directly to his face. I mean, I feel like that's probably a little bit more Missy's style. The reprisal. I went up to Duke Gunnar to give him a piece of my mind. He retorted with a slew of insults and abuse of his own. The exchange was seen by many in the realm as childish, and we both lost face as a result. Unfortunate. Duke Gunnar. Let's see. Oh, you're all the way up here, huh? I see, I see. Now, a studious child. He's fascinated by the vast history of the Canite race, the clans, the myths, the rumors, everything he can learn about it. He might actually have some insight into matters you didn't know, you didn't think about for a while now. Perhaps you could work together. Um, you know what? Yeah, brilliant. Get your learning up by five. A snake at court. Oh, it's these two again. Yeah, um... Right, leaving that well enough alone. Okay, matters of faith. I think we'll have to try and teach him ourselves. It is a good chance for us to get piety. It's not something that we can always easily get here. We are just going to endure. That's a lot more stress that we're enduring, but uh, perhaps, perhaps a nice hunt may help with that. And, oh, wonderful, faithful. We have a grand level of devotion to our faith now. And finally, the presentation. Let's show you off to everyone. Education too successful. Your child has made a great first impression during his presentation, perhaps a little too great. Encouraged by your vassals, eager to throw a 
wrench in your plans, he started to have delusions of grandeur. Obviously, this is way above his station or power right now, but the impudent whelp is almost openly plotting for his future tenure as your heir. You'll have to rein this one in carefully. Insolent idiot. Oh, he has a claim on the baronies of Bevent, a relatively strong claim. Interesting and wonderful. Dominating Verpus. Right. Rouse the blood to dominate him. Do we have an opportunity to improve our stewardship here? It's already pretty good, 60%, but if we can rouse here, ah, we're, ju we're just away from being able to do that. Okay, but we can attempt to do it here, and that will give us a bit of a better chance. 60%? Okay. Resisted. And that's more stress. Oh dear. And, well, that is going to drive a wrench into things, isn't it? Grit my teeth, force a smile, let's take all that stress, Missy. We are just going to have to try and go on a hunt, I think. As much as I want to keep on trying to build up some gold, I think we're going to need to act. Even with the minus that we just picked up there, Verpus still thinks, well, not well of us, but... Oh, summoned me, minus 100. So yeah, I guess we were, in a sense, uh, trying to get that summon going already. Well then, um, moving right along. Right. Well, it's time for us to start to plan a little bit of a trip here. And I think I want to turn this into a significant trip. There are a few different locations that we can visit uh, throughout here. I think we'll probably be doing that after we've been to the hunt. So we'll go to the hunt first and then we'll go and visit some of the other locations that are dotted around here. I think we'll probably go all the way up to here first and then kind of work our way around. Well, that would be my dream route, but unfortunately it is 229 days over the maximum, so that isn't going to happen. Honestly, even making it out to there is too much, so, well, I suppose we tried, didn't we? If we were to travel elsewhere, I think we'd be able to do some more detours, but we've kind of covered everything around here, so it's just going to have to be a there and back again kind of deal. We'll also try and keep it to the kind of stock standard price here. Well then, we're off. Having arrived, let's see how all this goes. Well, before anything else, we have a new martial lifestyle perk that we can unlock. I think because our territory is becoming so much wider, we're going to go for strict organization, which just gives us more control in general, faster. Ooh, wonderful. A chance to get a bear. It's treacherous, but the prestige is glorious. All right, bear time. Oh, our innovation has discovered battlements and Akos, and it seems we have discovered an unfledged raptor chick. I think we'll attempt to hold on to that there. Take it back to the muse. And a very drunk looking Baron Anthony has spotted the bear from afar. After it, we ride. More perilous? I say we go for it. You gotta be kidding me. And the damn thing is gone. Nearly 69% and we failed the hunt. Let us leave the adventure behind for now. We unfortunately won't lose that much stress. We do gain a fair amount of prestige there and we've also gained the hunter trait. Oh, I lie, we lost 38 stress. Not as much as I would have liked, but we'll take it. And with the amount of prestige we've got right now, I think it's about time that we up our crown authority. Overall, it's going to give us a better monthly income. It will get us closer to that kingdom title. Curiosity killed the hunter. One of those damnable do-goods from that group called the hunters is sniffing around your domain. He's been asking questions about your schedule, influence on the populace, and other tricky subjects. If you don't do anything, he will report to his superiors that something is off about you, quite off. There's no doubt in your mind that this will raise suspicions surrounding your court. Thankfully, you know a guy who could deal with this annoyance quickly and quietly, but his services aren't exactly cheap. Okay, that's a fair amount. I'm not scared by jumped up mortals. A little bit of extra exposure is fine. We'll be holding on to our coin today. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we can have two more men at arms. We just had a cultural innovation unlock. Interesting. What direction then would we want to go in? I think the armored footman might be a good direction for us. Let's go grab them and we shall station you. And of course, the size of the regiments has increased a lot as well. We can have, oh boy, we can have up to six of each. So that's 
significant. I'd like to try and see if we can up our bowmen here. We can. We're going to try and see if we can get them to six before anyone else because having a load of archers can help us just deal with large excesses of levies. Oh dear, and wouldn't you know it, <laughs> we can declare war against Claudius once again. The truce has run out. Our claims, hmm, our claims can cut him off on either side here. I think we're going to go here. Stop him from accessing the coast. Just cut him off even further. War shall be declared. And let's go straight for that war goal, as they are going straight for one of our locations. I think we should probably engage them before trying to siege down. So let's get this fight started. Oh, you're running. Of course you are. Trying to go into the hills? Oh, would you look at that, Montano. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, it's back and forth, but I think he might have this. You sly dog. We were baited in. The first battle of the war goes in their favor. Capua is under siege. Now, if we were to strike again, we would want to do so from another location. Let's just start off sieging here. Although, we are gonna have to capture some territory again. Now, we can call in our allies, should we feel like we need to, but I think as a point of pride, Missy will want to face them head on. Let's look at recapturing that. And we're gonna have to be fast. All right, that's looking better. And I think as long as we can kind of keep you on the flat, we do seem to have a better chance at defeating you. Although, hmm, let's just recuperate a little bit here. Let our troops rest and then try and see if we can catch you in our own territory. We're gonna stand a much better chance then. Yeah, let's get you as you try to run. There we go. That's what we're looking for. A decisive victory and a duke has been captured. Well then, eighth generation, I see. Now I think we're probably just gonna let him sit in the prison for now. We can't uh, directly diabolize here in prison. Although in saying that, we can through execution, can't we? Yes, we can. We will gain the trait 11th generation. We'll also lose stress here as well. It'll cost us 500 piety. Ooh boy, how do we feel about this one, Melissa? I mean, she will become a lower generation. She'll become closer to Cain. She's been looking for an opportunity like this. Duke Focus, a La Sombra. And you're young as well. Younger than Missy. Well then, the knights have been unkind to you. I think this will have to happen. Will others know? Not immediately, no but they will be aware that he has most certainly been executed. Melissa, drink. There we go. What a look. 11th generation. And hey, we can get a phlegmatic perk at that. How wonderful. No longer overwhelmed by stress. And 40 prowess, 11th generation. <laughs> well then, under dominate, we can pick up rationalize. By convincing the victim he acted under his own volition, you can unlock a new dominate command. Start a scheme. You can also get more gold by using dominate commands. Good. All right. Well, let's unlock that. And you know what? I think we should be making or rather taking advantage of the ability to be able to get gold from others. So having a look in Latium, obviously going for Duke Kimmeler is not going to be so easy. But having a look at some of his childer, there may be some that have a, you know, seemingly adequate amount of gold. Or I could be completely wrong. 55, hmm, we probably want to try and go for those that are ruling over certain areas. Helena, she's very old. I think we'd have a hard time. But then again, stewardship is only 11. You do have a considerable amount of gold. Mesmerize. 84% chance Helena will be saying hello. Well, Missy will be feeling good after that. A strategic impasse. Well, we've seen this pop up before. We can implement both strategies, gaining the benefits of both and not pissing anyone off. Now, do we want to try and attack them over here before they're able to take what we've been able to siege down? I think so. We'll break the siege. I think it's more important to remove them from the battlefield and perhaps capture some more prisoners along the way. If we could capture Montano, I would just be oh so happy. I think we're just gonna have to keep on baiting him in like this. Yep, let's keep it up. That is another 
battle won. Unfortunately though, this is a costly war. We're actually at a negative now when it comes to gold, so we will have to be at least a little bit cautious. Although I think we are going to get this down just in time. It's going to be close. Oh dear. All right. Well, here we are. And it seems like it's going to be difficult, but we can perform a blood surge, increasing our stewardship higher. Help me with the numbers. Yes. Okay, 14. Much better. Now, a 46% chance for an extra 6% would be taking on potential stress here. I think we, I think we give it a go. Roused. We gained stress, but she resisted the domination. Well, we gotta try. And that is our siege won here. Unfortunately though, they did manage to get the territory back over here. We should be able to claim it once again rather quickly. We just need to make sure that we can chase them down here. The mountains might have been his friend once before, but this time things are looking up for us. And we have here, hmm, just champion. Now, executing you is not going to give us anything but a loss of stress. So, let's just go with the beheading route. Oh, and how interesting. A gift from Gersender? 150. I will gladly accept your gift. You are the wife of uh, Akos, who is not very happy with us at the moment, but yeah, that'll help us out with the war. We'll take that. Oh dear. And a map. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try and jog your memory, T-Borg. See if we can find who paid you to do this. Struck a deal with a fancy lady in pearls and silk. I see. Yep, let's give that a go. And oh, Euphemia was exposed. Or it was a plot to murder Euphemia. Oh, and uh, Pex is Euphemia's lover. One of the little secrets that we know there. And it looks like Claudius would like a white piece, but no, you're, you're not going to get that. This war shall continue on until we are the victor, which I would hope is not far off now. Let's chase you down. Chase you, in fact, towards the capital. We're fighting in Montano's lands though, so we have to be a little bit cautious here. Let's see how that goes. Got us back against the wall and new opponent. Oh dear, new war target, Lord Montano. He wrestled control of the Sea of Shadows once again. Well, congratulations, Rival. You still have some fight in you. The war rages on, our goal is the same. And we just totally eliminated him there. So I'm guessing, yeah, you're residing here now. Or rather, oh, the Count, the Barony of Bari has become the seat of power. Well, let's siege it down. <laughs> And we have a sanguine perk available. We're really smashing through this tree here. Majesty. It gives us better personal scheme power and resistance to being diabolized, murdered. At the pinnacle of this discipline, the vampire can amplify their countenance to supernatural levels. To experience majesty is to be in the presence of the divine or the infernal. You unlock better options to cover the masquerade. Yes, let us go and unlock that. And then after that, we start to get down into advanced presence, which is, uh, well, there's a lot of interesting things down there, but we need to be, but we need to be a much lower generation to do many of these things. Ironclad command. Sounds good, but you're a ways off from that, Melissa. The siege is complete. 87%. Wonderful. Let's move on to the next county. Oh, so close. We have had some more soldiers turn up though, so let's go and chase them away. Excellent. <laughs> We're at 100%. We will be finishing this war though, just in case we capture anyone else here. Let us see as they retreat. Oh, coming home to roost. As I walk through the corridors of my palace, frustrated, many of my courtiers seem to be droning on about some problem they're having in Malta. On days like these, when their words have become dull, irksome buzzing in my ear, I feel like hanging the lot. Something about the discussion sounds familiar, though. Was that, was that law not my idea? Is this my fault? Mindless chatter has nothing to do with me. It's more critical stress or Gervais will support me. We become a confider. Dangerous because we've committed diablery. I think we're just gonna have to take the extra stress for now. Yes. Oh, unwelcome. Sometimes I feel like a stranger in my own castle. I can't help but notice the odd looks my courtiers give me. The unease that fills any room I walk into. What has happened to my life? Why am I not welcome among my own people? I am an outcast, just like a beast. We get a secret, which... I'm okay with that. 
I'm on board with you becoming a witch. Not a bad secret to have. Practices witchcraft. Let's lose some stress there, Missy. That sounds good to me. And we did actually manage to capture a combatant here. Oh, I see. A ninth generation La Sombra. Well, Missy, how are we feeling? Hungry. I think we might be. Ninth generation. We're eleventh. What might happen? Hmm. An execution? Well, it would give us some choleric resonance experience and we would become 10th generation. We are really climbing that ladder. It would obviously infuriate many people and it would also make us more vulnerable to our secrets being exposed. But Melissa, I think she has a taste for that blood now and a want for power, 10th generation. And a new choleric perk is available to us. Wonderful. Let's see then. Prowess. I mean, just getting our prowess higher, I think, is going to help us out a lot. And so, we will continue on. And we could finish this war right now. Oh, I see. Montano has lost the Sea of Shadows. And we have a new enemy. Lady Malay. I see, I see. A fifth generation kindred. Another child of Montano who has decided to strike out at her sire. Taking control. We're not at 100%. Our goal is still the same. And I think it dropped down because it's not considered to be the capital anymore. The capital of the Sea of Shadows. Where, where is the capital? Oh, it's all the way over here now. As you can see, the Sea of Shadows does stretch on. It has a fair amount of territory to it. So then, hmm. I don't think that they have the forces to defend themselves here. So we're going to sail right across and see if they've managed to muster much of a force. And okay, there's some troops there already. <laughs> we'll just eliminate them and we'll take over that siege gladly. And that will do it. Some extra gold. Wonderful. I think to be safe, we should call it there. Montano has been defeated yet again. We gain glory and fame. Enforce those demands and let us let those troops rest. So, even more territory here. We can work off some stress as well. Let us commission some extra hefty training fangs. Yeah, yeah, training fangs, of course. Now, much of our child already have territory. Our latest here, Barad, doesn't have any yet. Perhaps if he does become landed, he will be a better prospect. And honestly, we want him to be landed because if he gets married and he's married to someone that has land, he will go to their territory. We, we don't exactly want that. So, congratulations, child. You may be ambitious, but we're going to trust you with this territory. It is yours to care for. And you're not going to be on the council anytime soon. Oh, and I almost forgot. We do have one other prisoner still in prison here. This Revenant who has been in prison for a, a while, nine years. Yeah, about that. We could burn you at the stake, we'd get some dread, we'd lose some stress here. Exsanguination is not a bad option. And honestly, I think that that's the one that we're going to, to go for here. Oh, well, we should have done this so much sooner. Sorry to keep you waiting. Valente, thanks for the blood. Well, my gosh. <laughs> just received an interesting notification. We are second in line for the Sea of Shadows now. <laughs> How interesting. Having a look at the election here, Montano is right up there. We've obviously nominated ourselves. The more territory that we take within the Sea of Shadows, I think the higher or the more power our vote carries. We can see that Helena is even in the running here. And I suppose we could get others to vote for us, couldn't we? Seizing control of the Sea of Shadows would be quite the maneuver. And it's one that I hadn't really seriously considered. Gosh, he's back down to being a count and he's serving Duke Claudius currently. So I think what we'd want to try and do is seek out kindred that have low stewardship because I think that's going to make them more easy to manipulate, to mesmerize. And if we could mesmerize you, Duke Claudius, I think that would help us out a fair amount, especially if we could get you to vote for us. Let's attempt. Oh, and supposedly we did have a smallpox outbreak, but Viorica has ensured us that all the bodies have been disposed of properly. Tiborg died. Oh, unfortunate for you. Curiosity killed the hunter yet again. My gosh. 
Well, I think we're just going to have to try and deal with the masquerade exposure that we have been building up here. Cover up the masquerade. Yes. So, we do have more options here. I shall make them forget. I will be their god and they shall not expose my secrets. Or <laughs> shall bask in my glory. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, it is a higher chance that it will be reduced. I think either way, it's going to be good. Yeah, let's go for that option there. And it turned out pretty well. We didn't actually get any hungrier either. And our blood potence is now four. Damn. Ooh, interesting. Well, of course, Pex is still making demands of us. That's fine. He's stripping away all of the <laughs> restrictions he has as a vassal. But Countess Dario has a murder secret. Oh, you murdered our champion all those years ago. Well, I do, I do like you. You were an incredible Chamberlain, so we're not going to upset the boat there, but we could blackmail you down the line, should we desire. Ah, and Count Barad wants to form an alliance with us. He has already, he's already had a child. Well then, ah, let us enter this mutual alliance and let's see. Prowess 11, a lunatic, and 14th generation. So when if we have new childer, they are going to be a lower generation than some of the first childer that we had. Like, for example, Gulam is 13th. Anyone we have now will be 11th generation, so they'll be stronger starting off. But looking at Barat here, let's see, do we have any better options? It looks like possibly we might. Oh, all of these alliances just link back in on our existing vassals. We're not really looking far afield here, are we? So the other option that we can look for then is those that have a high prowess. White gold. Anna. Well, hello there. That That's a considerable amount of prowess. And uh, Lamia, you're Cappadocian, I see. Yeah, you have necromancy. Uh, and nasty? What's going on with the... Uh, What's going on with the horns there? You're a Zemitsi, I see. So, vicissitude is where they do their um, sculpting of flesh and whatnot. So, who would be a better choice then? Anna, you are shy, patient, and forgiving. I see. Zealous, generous, ambitious. I think Anna might be a better choice here. And she's not landed, so that means that she will join us here. You know what? I feel like you're a good match. Let us send the proposal off. And there we have it. You are now within our territory and no doubt you will be able to serve as one of our champions. Claudius Eugenio. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that might make things a little bit more difficult. He has obfuscated himself. Let's see. We could still be successful here though. We would need to rouse our blood, making us hungrier potentially. A 57% chance of us succeeding here. Unfortunately, we will not be able to blood surge in this instance, but we'll give it a shot and resist it. Damn, we will keep trying. And if not him, then our spouse. Accusations, interesting. My husband, pack member Verpus, has been tense lately. As we find ourselves alone, it finally becomes apparent. Please be honest with me. He says in a grave tone, is there someone else? Have you taken a lover? Now, we do have a lover, a lover that we haven't seen for a long while. And one of the main reasons we took him as a lover was to make Duke Landolf incredibly upset. So, I mean, of course not, no. But I am surprised that he is concerned. Well, we're here once again. So, what are our chances like this time? 60%, I feel like, one of these times, it is going to have to work for us. We can do a blood surge, so I think we're going to want to in this instance. Our stewardship will be higher, giving us a 63% chance. And gotta be kidding me. Well then, perhaps a nice Elysium might help smooth things over. But before that, Pix has found us. He's been hovering around Missy's council meeting slightly. Knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that this man is waiting for me to impress him. I could probably engage him in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for him to simply see me interacting with my men. There is something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. We could discuss methods of communication or go see some recruits, respected 
figurehead would give us a higher levy reinforcement rate. Right now, Pex and Missy, they're on really good terms. So let's just look at that as an option. And of course, yes, Elysium. Let's lose some stress and let's see what our folks have for us. Oh, a guest of honor. Our Baron. Well, hi. Before your next Elysium truly begins, one of your vassals comes to you with a request, being the guest of honor of the coming gathering. Obviously, some petty scheming between you and your vassals is the reason of this demanding, and accepting would make you look weak in front of the rest of your court, but accepting would mean that this one is indebted to you. Ah, uh, we're not interested. We don't need a hook from you. That's totally fine. And now we have War Games, a proud and long tradition in most Elysium. War games are a good way of brushing off your martial skills. One of your vassals is playing one right now, commenting on how to best represent the new developments in Mortals Warfare. Perhaps a game is an order. You could learn something. So this is against Baron Philippe. I don't believe we have seen you before. A Bruja, 12th generation. Well, hello. All right, catapults in the front. Seriously, or thanks not tonight. Let's attempt here. See how we go. Defeat it. Well, good work, Philippe. And now, theories. And we have seen this event before here. We could dive in, potentially lose some prestige, potentially gain some learning experience. I think it's worth the potential of losing prestige. And yeah, that's fine. I'm willing to take that risk. And I think Missy is too. Let us begin. And right away, our Chamberlain has a good plan to butter up some nearby ruler. A very powerful ruler at that. One that is over 6,000 years old. Good work. Nicely done. And our keeper has a good plan here. Bloody investments for Malta yet again for 50. I think it's still worth us taking it. And just another night. Okay, some martial experience. Gilarm, thank you. And Pix, you are seeking scholarly training. 300 gold? You're skilled enough, buddy. You're skilled enough. And finally, an average plan from our Scourge. That is unusual. We'd spend a considerable amount of prestige. I think we're fine. Sorry, Viereka, you'll be able to earn back our trust there. Oh, and you want to ride our horse, Gilam? No, <laughs> sorry. Boreas is for us and us alone. And that horse is actually old. It's been around for a long time now. Um, I don't think it's a ghoul, but it has been kicking around for a long time. Now, I have had a interesting idea with Verpus. For us to be able to summon, they need to have tasted our blood. Now, he is probably quite suspicious of us at this stage. We can attempt to train a discipline, which would make us hungrier because we would be feeding him our blood as you learn through the exchange of blood. Let's see. Let us see. Now, if we have a discipline that he does not know, we can teach him. It doesn't seem like we can teach him anything right now. You will have to share blood with him. More importantly, we share experience and accumulated blood resonance. Well, okay. Uh, I guess you actually do have everything that we have. Presence, protein, fortitude. We don't have protein. I mean, you don't have dominate at all, but perhaps we just don't have the experience to give you right now. Damn, that's not an avenue that we'll be able to look at then. Oh, interesting. Bernardo. I have heard of your disputes with that heartless buffoon, Count Montano, his sire, a most contemptible excuse for a man. Given our mutual interests, I'm sure we will get along well, friend. Interesting. Yes, I would be happy with you to be our friend. Good. Excellent. Yay. Now you'll be less unhappy that you are not on the council. That's good to hear. Now, another martial lifestyle perk. I think we're going to try and pick up Organized March next. A faster moving army is going to be great, as are those screens. Ah, oh dear. And we just lost another herd member. The March of Time continues. Thankfully, we didn't lose any of our folks with an acute sanguine resonance. Although in saying that, we should probably look at turning some of them into ghouls, because that blood is hard to get. And you're probably a little bit closer to death, so... We are going to try to ghoulify you because we want to keep that blood around. But of course, that does mean that we can herdify yet another. And Basarab, interesting. We could herdify you. Hmm. What if we just tried to hunt you instead? That way we can get a taste. And if we like it, then, well, you'll be hooked. 
And here we are. How's that blood? Intense melancholy resonance. You know what? Yes, let us hurtify you. We're also getting animal resonance as well. Interesting. Okay. All right, you are now a member of our herd. Unfortunately, I don't think we actually have. Oh no, we do have fortitude. Good. Okay, well that'll help us. Ah, and Boreas, the end of life. Missy's trusted mare Boreas is getting old. Her stride is not as swift as it once was. The fire in her eyes is fading. If I want to keep her lineage alive, I should find a good match for her. Scour the lands for the fiercest stallion. I feel like that's a good option. The circle of life. My beloved mare, Boreas, has passed away, but she leaves a strong fowl behind. I can already see her personality in the young one. My friend is still with me, in a sense. Well, that's good. And we have our loyal retainer here. It's going to cost us some prestige. We're going to get a little hungrier, or rather, we're not. We succeeded on that roll, and we're going to be able to hold on to that blood now going forwards, which is good. But we have our war horse to name, so let's dive back into mythology. We could continue on with Boreas. I kind of like that. Yes, Boreas the second. And wouldn't you know it, <laughs> we can get advanced presence now. Unlocks the ability to change the intensity of a resonance in your herd. Well, that's a heck of a power. That's a that's a big power. And as we can see here, yeah, presence enhanced. That gives us a plus two to our prowess. 44 now. Very good. Let's go to our herd and let's see. Negligible sanguine resonance. You lost it somehow. You lost the, oh, okay. So it was acute, but now it's gone to negligible because we made you a ghoul, possibly. Okay, let's see. Change your vessel's resonance. Oh, and increase the intensity increases to fleeting or decreases to negligible i see i mean let's let's give it a shot well i'm not sure if it takes time here negligible sanguine resonance it's not fleeting anymore we are hungrier i don't think it went up i don't think it went down okay but it's something that we're going to keep an eye on unfortunately though yeah that does suck that we <sighs> we lost that little bit there and now we have a ghoul to worry about a ghoul that we might not want to keep long term but well we can also do things about that we can also do things to um well yeah free up the amount of ghouls that we can have we learn to listen Aina sorry the beast of Bevent was truly unleashed today we weren't able to strike out at Latium but we are so close to being able to create the kingdom of Sicily now a 10th generation kindred, Melissa continues to collect power, surpassing that of her brother and the peers that make up her court. But as kindred soar to those greater heights, the fall becomes all the more deadly. The Sea of Shadows has lost much of its power, it is now a fragment of what it once was. Latium should be shaking. If alliances can be secured, then the Bevents will march one way or the other. The boots of the Bevents shall walk upon the sand of Rome in our very next episode. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for your patience over this holiday break. I'm glad to have Crusader Kings 3 back, and I'm excited to see where all of this goes. As ever, leave your suggestions, your recommendations, and your counsel for Melissa. Perhaps those words will be heeded. For now, if you enjoyed the episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.